Hey, okay, there we go. Hello, hello. My name is Kia. Welcome to Condition by Kia. Today, I'm going to be doing a legs and shoulders workout. So first, starting with a nice warm up here. Getting the joints, my hips ready to go. Moving the shoulders around a bit. This is definitely going to be a fun one. Equipment wise, I'm going to be using my dumbbells and a band and a yoga block. Um, it's only one exercise with the yoga block, but if you do not have a yoga block, all you really need is like a little stool or something that gets your foot a few inches off the ground. The kettlebell knocked over. It'd be a dumbbell knocked over, really. Just getting the heart rate up and going. And getting the joints ready to go. more of these and then let's start the first exercise. Alrighty, time to get rolling. So the first one is the dumbbells. I'm gonna have my feet out nice and wide and it'll be wide squat upright row. So palms down in front of me, knees are unlocked and up already. Then it'll be down and taking it up, that's one. Two. Eight right there so far. And the knees unlocked and stand. Fifteen right there. So one of those down. Take a nice deep breath. This will be lens squat, shoulder press. Back in here. One is fine. Eight so far. And ten. Switching feet. Six so far. And ten. Nice deep breath before I do the wide squat, the upper breath. Nice deep breath. Hope you're having a good middle of your week. Today is a nice Wednesday. Possibly a rainy Wednesday for most of it. But again, weather's crazy. Sometimes it'll look like rain or storm, then it just disappears. And then sometimes it just comes at you 
that comes out your area like super quick. Alright, ready? And down and up. That's one. Two. Five so far. That's ten. Fifteen right there. Squat or lunge squat, I should say. Pretty nice detail. Ten for each side. Ten there. Flopping sides. Arms are ready. Four so far. One more. Ten right there. Two deep breaths here. Wide squat. Up the rope. Coming up. Taking feet nice and long. Down and up. Five so far. Ten. Fifteen. One more. For the lunge, lunge squat, shoulder press. We're grabbing that split stance. Nice deep breath. Dumbbell at the ready. Seven, three more on this side. Top inside. That's one of these ones. And ten. Ooh, a nice deep breath here. So the next one I'm going to do will be a deadlift, forty-five degree shoulder raise, or lateral raise, you could say. 
So I'm not gonna go all the way out to the side. I'm gonna go 45 so it's like not frontal, not completely to the side, straight into the middle. So with my pens, it'll be regular deadlift into 45 breaks. Make sure I have space in my mouth. Here we go. Until your back is flat for that deadlift. One. Back is flat. Two. Knees are unlocked. That is the key for deadlifts. Keep the knees unlocked. So far. That's nine. Ten. Nearly there. Twelve. Last one. 15. Okay, this next one. I'll we'll probably need some space. Here. This is with a mini band. Not necessarily a must, but it does make it a little bit harder. Makes it more challenging. Once you get that band just above your knees, Use my tents and every dumbbells at the ready. One dumbbell, sorry. One dumbbell at the ready. So it'll be squat, step up, frontal push. Frontal push, as you're holding your dumbbell here, pushing to the front, that works the front of the shoulders. And knees are unlocked at the ready, dumbbells at your chest and at the ready. Step out, take a seat in your squat, push forward one, two, three. Eight so far. Fourteen. Fifteen going for twenty. Nineteen. Twenty. Nice deep breath here. You we'll probably keep that band there. One more deep breath, 32. Back to the deadlift, 45 breaks. And ready. And then, so prepping myself here. You know, we've got three, two, and one. Flat back, 45 breaks. That's one. Eight so far. Last 
about 11. One more here. Fifteen there. Put them one dumbbell to the side. I have to step out squat. The front of the Nice. I do the combining legs and arms. Gets the heart rate going pretty well. Ready? 20, here we go. Three, two, one. Five so far. Eighteen, one more back and forth. Twenty right there. Catch your breath. I'm gonna catch my breath for just a moment here. I keep my band there. Now one more round of those. Still have 45 rays. Nice deep breath. Letting it out. Then lift. 45 rays. That's one. Two. Last round of these. Four. Seven. About eleven so far. Thirteen. Fifteen. Then I'm gonna dumbbell to the side. One more to step out spot. Time to push. Two more deep breaths before I go. One more. All right, 20. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, and one. Fifteen. Eight. 
18, 19. On your you know what I meant for the moment. But just for the moment, I'm going to need that band just a little bit. Here's where you need your yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, something about that height where you can balance your foot on will work. Like when I, when I was little kids got stools that you'd put in front of the sink, knocked over kettlebell. Mini stack of hard back flips, so long as you don't mind your feet on them. Usually like an old school dictionary or something like that. <laughs> And put your foot on the block and then it'll be like a Bulgarian deadlift into a frontal raise. That'll be down, right arm, down, right arm. I'm going to do 10 on the right and then 10 with the left. That's three. Four, seven so far, that's eight, nine, and ten. Pushing feet. That's ten with the left. Down. One. Two. Four so far. Seven. That's eight. Two more in this leg. And you can make this here. I thought it was just <laughs> I'm gonna do. Regular squat to sunshine. I grab my lighter dumbbell. My arms definitely do on the fire. The regular squat to sunshine. Feet are about shoulder width. Knees are unlocked and ready. Down like a regular squat. Keeping your knees unlocked and your glutes flexed. That's one. Glute squeeze, knees unlocked. Good. Three. Four. This one's for ten. Eight so far. And Bulgarian deadlifts. I'm sure there's a different name for those. That's what I like to call them. It's a very similar look to it. So, I feel like Bulgarian deadlifts work. Just because you have that back leg up and off the ground. Right leg, right arm first. Ready? Next one. 
Okay. And ten right there. Both the legs. Set more on this side. Left arm going up. That's fun. Ready? Here. And regular squat, sunshine. Let's do that. And on. so far. Four more of these. We're nearly, I'm nearly getting there. Got the foot there. Nice deep breath. Oh, wrong foot here. There we go. Your right leg is back. Your right arm is going forward. And 
regular squat to sunshine. Last step this away. Don't need that one anymore. I might use it for a stretch at the very, very end though. Okay. Regular squat to sunshine. Out of 10. And three, two, one. Down. And that's one. Two more. And done. Okay. Next one is going to be with the wall. And a set of dumbbells. I'm glad at the ready there. Mm, I don't need the band. The band is for the second, second exercise of this round. So this one, it will be one leg up on the wall, one leg here. This right leg is slightly in front of the left leg for balance. And after I come down and back up, that'll be a shoulder shrug, like you think. I don't know. Shoulder shrug. Using the muscles right here between your neck and your shoulders. And it'll be 10 for each leg. Getting myself into position here. And ready? We'll be tough on the legs, but. Um, one. Two, three, Back of the thigh and the glutes. Okay, I'm just going to do this way. Other side. lose my balance. <laughs> and ten. I love those ones sometimes they're tough on the legs. Very well worth it though. Okay. Getting the band. This one goes above the knees. So this one, you can use the wall for balance if you're following along. I'm gonna stay near my wall, in case. I'm gonna go here, leg is bent, arm is bent, alternating leg, arm. Extension, 
shoulder extension. This is getting right here on the shoulder. Four. Five. I'll say for 20 basically. And then the other side. Holding a dumbbell at the ready. Camera position. And one. In here, Please. I'm gonna go one more in case I miscount on that. And back to the wall. Right. Now it's the single leg wall that lift. With the shoulder shows one more time. These ones are somewhat brutal. Right. Nothing left but to attack. Okay, one foot on the wall. The other knee is slightly in front. And ready. Down. And shrug. Nice deep breath. Flopping sides. Down. Go get one. And ten. Ones with sand. Ground two here. This is the last super set though. After this round. After one more. This one. One more, one more. It'll be So the rough part's on the fun. Okay. Extension. Arm. That's one. Two. Ready. 
one more. I do like hot tester balance quite a bit. One more of these. Nearly there. Get those dumbbells ready. Put up on the wall. And more of each. Do it. Down. And one. Two. Two more. And right there. Leg extension, goal arm extension. Last one of these. Time for the other side. Here, extend, and one. Nearly there. Two more. One more for good measure. Ooh, now it's time to stretch it out. I'm gonna keep my band nearby for that stretch. You can use a dumbbell. The stretch part if you want as well. So pretty much you're gonna go into a split stance here and first is the hinge forward. Deep breath. Knock it over sideways and go a little deeper. Flat, a little deeper. All the way up. 
swap sides. Downward like that. Popping that back heel. Keep it. Take your little block sideways and go deeper. Block sideways, go just a little bit deeper again. Up one. One more deep breath here. And on to the stretches. Swapping legs. I'm gonna drop this kind of downwards. And we use a four for the other block, whichever really. Nice deep breath, getting those inner thighs and the quads. And deep breath here. Let's get backwards, taking the yoga block with you. Kind of putting it against my back knee and flattening the back. The leg in front of you, try to push it as straight as you possibly can. Deep breath. You should feel the hamstring pretty good with this one. Back to neutral. And you're gonna switch feet. here. Deep breath. Another one. Go for one more deep breath. Just this back, taking that yoga block with you, touching it to the back of that other knee. Or in front of the other knee, I should say. Trying to push that front leg as straight as possible. This is where you will likely notice if one leg is more tight than the other. And if you do feel that, if you feel like one hamstring is far more tight than the other, I definitely recommend to keep on stretching every day, about 10 to 15 minutes every day, so that way those hamstrings don't get super tight. Tight hamstrings and tight calf muscles are the number one causes of knee and hip issues usually. I guess that is depending on the circumstance, but typically that is the number one cause of just tight muscles. It messes up the whole kinetic chain. Okay, sideways here, with those inner thighs. One leg bent, one leg out. Yoga block down, and just shift the hips. Breath, knock it down sideways, take it deeper. Now for the other side. And that stance. Hinge it. And feel that inner thigh stretch. Knock that yoga block sideways and go a little deeper. Woo. Alrighty, well, thank you so much for joining me. Anybody who joined in with me and worked out with me, I just want to say thank you. I hope you had a fun time. Feel free to find me on Instagram or my website right there. Um, if you do find me on Instagram, it's at, at Condition by Kia. Um, feel free to comment on any of my posts and I'll give you a follow back. But I'll be here tomorrow, 7.30. I will see you all tomorrow. Hope you have an awesome day.